Slick Rick here, and I'm with my partner, King Charlie Prince, and you're watching Remember, Remember This. How you doing? I am Caleb T. Johnson, and you are watching Remember This. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Remember This. I'm your host, Denise Bolin, and tonight I have with me again my wonderful guest co-host, Caleb T. Johnson. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Hey, Caleb. Again, I'm here. Second AKA, time. Yes. <laughs> AKA, if you saw our last episode and our Halloween episode, AKA, Mr. T. Yes, I pity the fool. He pities the fool. <laughs> yes, he does. I'm starting to pity the fool, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, we have an exciting show tonight. Yes, yes. We have, from Hip Hop History, legendary let's say royalty royalty mm -hmm. yes members we have two members two of the legendary hip-hop group rockmaster scott and the dynamic three Woo! Yes. exciting exciting we have king charlie prince and we have the original slick rick, slick rick. yes we're excited about that yes exciting. i'm excited yes. i'm excited i'm floored yes and I hear they're doing a new version of The Roof is on Fire. What? Yes. You thought it couldn't get any better, right? Apparently you can. It's a classic chant. Is that not amazing, that song? That's it's not amazing, no matter where I it's go. It's one of the world's best. Yeah. Everybody sings it. Every club you go to. You every, know that song is every, coming on. Every club, every birthday party, every corporate event. That's right. People are saying the roof is on fire. They're saying the roof is on fire. And no chance has ever like surpassed that. Nope. Right? Nope. Not at all. Yeah. He's the first. Yes. Yes. I love firsts. I don't like remakes. What do you think of remakes? It all depends. It all depends. Some people can do a really good job with it, and then others, you, they should have just left it alone. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. But it, it all depends. But, you know... I've yet to see a remake that I liked better than the original. I hear you. You know, like, I, 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 didn't, I only liked the first Darren. Yeah. You know, Bewitched and the first Becky on Roseanne. Mm-hmm. Sorry. And that's the same way with music, too, because uh, there's a new song out. I don't want to mention the person's name, but um, that did a remake of a song that was a classic dance hit. Yeah. And it was okay, but the original was so Not much better. Same. No, it's not the same. You should have left it alone. The original is so much better. What about movies? They do that with movies. I know. You know? Yep. They try to make them better, but they're, they're just not as good. Like, I love the original Willy Wonka. Okay. I do. I love Gene Wilder. Yes. Love Johnny Depp. I just... No, it if was... If I was going to sit down and watch was, a movie, it's going to be... It was too dark. It was too dark. It was too dark, and, and, and it wasn't yeah. colorful like the Willy Wonka. Yeah. Like the Gene didn't Wilder. Have, didn't have that humor. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He had a little craziness about him, which was funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, a little twisted. About a month ago, uh, there was a there were two shows that was aired on TV live. I think it was All in the Family and what? the Jeffersons. The, yeah. The original. They're airing them again. Yes. They're airing the original, All in the Family with Carol O'Connor. No, not the originals. I think they had. Um, huh. Uh, I know they had. Jamie Foxx to play Mr. Jefferson. Oh. Yeah, and it was live. So I'm talking about it was live. Oh, so they're remakes. Live. Yeah, it's remakes. Remakes, okay. remakes right. Oh. But they did, Are they good? It was okay. All right, I got to see good. it. I got to see it. It, it was okay, yeah. It, it was great. Okay. You know. Archie Bunker, the guy that played Archie Bunker, uh, he was okay. There's only one uh, Archie Bunker. But there's Bunker. only one Archie Bunker. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And Edith. Boy, the mm -hmm. way Glenn Miller played. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, the way Glenn Miller played. Songs that made the hit parade. Guys like us, we had it made. Those, Those were the days. And you knew who you were. No welfare state. Everybody pulled his weight. G R O LaSalle and great. Those were the
I love her. <laughs> love her voice. I, I will check it out. I'm not going to knock it. I will check it out. But, um, yeah, it's got to be pretty darn good for you me better. to yeah. like it better than the original All in the Family. Mm-hmm. And the I Jeffersons. Jeffersons was a cool shelf. The Jeffersons was. I loved his little strut. Right? Oh, yeah. Sherman, Sherman Hemsley <laughs> he had that so strut. He loved so him. <laughs> <laughs> crazy man. Crazy man. Yeah. But that was a great show. And um, thank God, Marla Gibbs is like literally the, because you know everybody passed away. Yeah, well, she's, almost everybody she's still passed around? away. She's she still was around. Florence Marla the maid. Gibbs. Yeah, she's eighty-seven Don't tell years me she's old. She's playing herself. She they, can't be a maid at eighty. Come well, on. Well, they did a cameo. Retire. They did a cameo role on her. Okay, so she didn't play herself. Mm-hmm. But it was good. Okay. It was really good. It you know really who did good. that when they did the Brady Bunch movie? Ann B. Davis, the original Alice. She didn't oh, okay. play herself, but she they did a cameo with her. Oh, then a little voice says, are you kidding? They'd probably just treat you like a maid. You want some of this, Jan? No, thanks. I think they did a cameo with a few of the cast members. Oh, in okay. the Brady Bunch movie, yeah. That was pretty cool. Bruna! Hey! <laughs> Hi, everybody! Well, we've established that I don't like remakes. I right. like originals, so stay tuned. And you are going to see the original members of the Dynamic Three. Don't go away. We'll be right back. All right. Jim, would you like another cup of coffee? I have it in the bedroom. Oh, yeah. Gee, that's odd. Jim never wants a second cup of coffee. Welcome back, and tonight we are so excited to have in our studio the legendary, legendary members of Rockmaster Scott and the Dynamic Three. Everybody put your hands together for King Charlie Prince and the original Slick Rick. Welcome to our show. It's so a great so honor. Happy to have you here. We had King Charlie Prince here before. I was like, you got to bring the other members out. So nah. glad that you were able to make it. I was determined to bring them. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did you have to do to get him here? Did you have to twist his arm a little? I said, Rick, come on, you got to come. You know, I need you. I said, all right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh my gosh, how how long do the two of you know each other? Forever. Grew up in the same building? Yes, I was on the, I'm, I was on the second floor, mm-hmm. and um, him and the other guy was on the third floor. MBG. 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 Mm-hmm. Yes. And were your friends at first? Or? Yes. In the beginning, remember I told you, me and Rick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I heard his version. I want to hear your version. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. Your, I'm going to ask that again. Were your friends at first? <laughs> Not at first. In the beginning, no. <laughs> but um, yeah. after yeah. we started doing shows, all that came to an end yeah mm-hmm. but before that how about let's just start with he punched my girlfriend in the eye oh he didn't tell us that <laughs> no he didn't tell that <laughs> that just started a feud between me and him ah. but then after a while it was like okay mbg and his sister greta they came to us about a club that they had out in connecticut that their cousin was running a team club uh-huh. so they came to me first i said okay i was down and then uh they got somebody else and i was like okay that's cool and then they said okay well let's get charlie prince i was like wait a minute (laughs) (laughs) who's him no absolutely not i don't like him i don't like him but they talked me into it and yeah look well you were easy yeah (laughs) i started doing shows in connecticut new haven like i said before and all of that just squashed and we became friends ever since now we're brothers now you're yeah, brothers. You know, we came perform the group dynamic three at first we was the devilish three mm. oh boy wow. yeah. we started out like that and you know and but your mother was okay with that title actually she didn't really know about that title oh, okay because we we was like the temptations you know when they was standing outside motown building trying to figure out a name mm-hmm. you know we just kept on thinking and thinking and coming up with it and then um Eventually, it started out as Charlie D and the crew. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah. New Haven, Connecticut. Yeah, and then they loved the little guy. Yeah, <laughs> so, because I was, you know, I was little. They was a little bigger than me. And, yeah. Uh, right. After that, we came back to New York and um, 
started trying to figure out what kind of name we was going to come up with, you know. And during that time, MBG, he wasn't with the group. He the one who put the put us together. Right. And um, the guy that came with us named um, Buster, he um, was with another group. You know, right. So he was, you know, kind of like filling in. But then when he had when he came back, he wanted he had, to go back to his group. He wanted to go, right. And, and then Greg, that's when MBG came in and filled in. So we said, okay, now we got to come up with a name. Came and then we had a name. And it was unanimous. Mm -hmm. we and then what happened to that name? We battled. Oh, and the, other, the other group in the next building with Buster had the same Buster name. had the same name. Oh. So now we have to battle them guys for that for that name. And of course, you know who won. We did. Yeah. But we, now that we win, we decided. You know what? Y'all keep the name. We're okay. gonna think of something else right. because we all in the, in you know we all lived in the same neighborhood. So it's like y'all yeah. keep the name. And and we just keep the well. name. So see, where'd you get the name Slick Rick? Uh. Uh, for one, he it was, was slick. We <laughs> <laughs> ain't gonna get to the slick part yet. But uh, I was, you know, my name was Rick, and then I used to sit there and listen to Rick James a lot. And uh, I was like, okay, they call him Rick James Slick Rick, which he's the, actually the original Slick Rick. True. So much. I was like, okay, well, I want to be the Slick Rick of rap. So first of all, no, first we all came, they came to me and asked, hey, you know, we want to change the names. He, cause hey, he was Charlie D, mm -hmm. and right. the other guy, Greg, he was Greg Ski. Greg Ski, oh, and I, you like know, that. at that mm -hmm. time, I was Ricky D, mm -hmm. the original Ricky D A as lot well. Of e's, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, so, e's and D's. so uh, we decided. They came to me and told me they want to change their name. Maybe you should change yours. And I said, you know what, you're right, because at that time, I met Ricky D before we started getting into the music business. Mm -hmm. You know on the streets he came into the neighborhood so you know it was like like a game thing yeah. you come in my neighborhood yeah and you you trying to sit there and use that name yeah oh we gonna have to battle so he didn't want to battle he didn't want to battle but it was like okay i ain't okay. never seen him no more okay and that was it he never came in that neighborhood again wow. and um you held your ground yeah i held my grounds you don't come in my turf yeah. <laughs> i'm trying to use my name yeah and so so that yeah so from that point, uh, I decided to change the name over to Slick Rick. Thinking so I about said, I'm, yeah, Rick James, James and Rick James. and I'm gonna be the Rick James of rap. So okay, somehow or another, I think I became that. And but that, anyway, uh, and, now, and now he oh, goes yeah. under the name Slickster. Yeah, he goes under Slickster, Slickster now. Slickster. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, yeah. I, I go by it, but I wasn't too crazy about it. Yeah, because yeah, like my little brother was like, no, don't do it. Yeah. You need to stay who you are, cause everybody and he's right. Everybody know you for that. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, okay, you're right. Even well, though you, I am you know, slick, I'm like, I'm not gonna change Ray's it. Pizza, original Ray's, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and all that. You just can't be change the original it. Slick Rick. Yeah. So. Go by that. Yeah. So, uh, so I said he's right. I'm gonna keep it. Uh, okay, that's just a name that I just use from time to time. But I'm always gonna be the original Slick that's Rick. That's right. And the, and the funny thing about it is. Like I said before, um, when we was on Reality Records, it was funny how they showed up. Dougie and them came on the label after. After and you, you were already known as Right, Slick after he done established Slick Rick. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden. Well, you know that story came because, all right, Cause I think our producer, Jerry, got a hold of these guys. Now, we used to do a lot of shows with Dougie at, at back in Harlem World. And we used to bat. It was like a lot of battles. So we know about okay. Dougie always used to win his battles because he used to go as a solo artist. Or oh, correction, he had to sit there and lose to Busy B. That's another topic. We went to these battles and we was battling as a group. Okay. And we always took third place. If it wasn't us taking third place, if we didn't show up that night for some D's, which was actually for some C's, used mm -hmm. to take third place we never could get second or first really? even though we was better than Why the first that is, because it was all set up before we came in mm -hmm. of course <laughs> it was rigged wow. so they already knew who was going to take first who was going to take second 
Wow. Oh, it's a whole lot of That's stories. That's crazy. Wow. See? We, yeah. Fans That's don't what, know these things. Stuff you don't know. Yeah, yeah. the fans oh, don't know. Oh, man. Wow. So, so we already know. We done had about like six third place trophies, even though we should have got number sure. one. But we got, hey, hey, it was getting so bad with collecting the trophies. Like, all right, when we win the next one, you get it. <laughs> okay. The, 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 the deal was, okay, if you win the battle, you win this uh, uh, gold record some money mm -hmm. and you get a cool. chance to play with the bigger guys the bigger acts but it wasn't really a gold record though it but, a gold record, it, but it was a frame but, hey, but you painted gold so yeah they paint they spray paint so we went in there and just ripped every group it was like nine groups Did we you? ripped all eight of them groups out awesome. mm -hmm. they could not mess with us we had that crowd sitting we, there going crazy and this and it was, wasn't rigged and this was the time no it wasn't rigged and this was the time when scott Rockmaster Scott was, was with another, another group, group at the time. He was. And yeah. Oh, matter of fact, his group is the one that won. They gave, yeah, they gave it to him because they knew we was wasn't going to go for that painted up record mm -hmm. that they call the gold album. We wasn't going for that. They knew that we wanted that money because there was money involved. We, okay. did, we was going to want our money because basically we was the smart act. We we had sense. We were smart. Mm -hmm. You know the way we carry ourselves. We carry. We, 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 we was going to school. We go, hey, we yeah. wasn't a dropout or right. trying to be something. We we went to school. We hung together. We lived in the same yeah. neighborhood. We was a good old guy. We did the right thing. We was yeah. the good guys. We didn't yeah. get high. Yeah, you we went know? into that. So after Scott group, um, after the battle was over, Scott ended up meeting us on the block mm -hmm. and wanted to get down with the group. Yep. So we and let we, him get on we, with us because Scott was also a clean even though he was with some guys that hey did all that other stuff but he was a clean dj yeah. but, but the funny part was um we had a problem with his name being on the top <laughs> uh, <laughs> Master Scott and the dynamic three we was like, I, the DJ. I actually had yeah, a problem with that one. yeah it was really yeah, was me. Yeah, yeah he was but, like why know. he got to be on the top he joined us yeah <laughs> <laughs> his name got to automatically get to the top <laughs> because, right, right. and then Greg i mean it does flow nice mm, it's yeah it because we good. was looking at the fact grandmaster Grand flash and the flash five. Five. that's so why it sounds yeah, good so we said yeah. that's what it reminds me of no 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 he ain't want that but we had this thing though majority rules if we vote on it if there's more hand whoever right majority rules. So, so you got, outvoted yes i got yeah. outvoted his name got there and, psh, and that was a wrap that was a wrap it well you home. probably you and greg just didn't care you didn't care we either didn't way, worry right? about it too much yeah. you know yeah. we just let it go i seen a monster starting to develop <laughs> That's another topic. <laughs> you guys got a lot of stories. Well, I like to see one lot of stories. His mom's, may she rest in peace. She was the great manager to us. Oh, she was your manager. Oh, yeah, wow. she managed us. She made sure she wasn't wow. like a role manager, but she was like, she kept us in. You know, as we we used to practice in his house, and she used to make sure she, she had a bunch of mirrors there. Yeah, make like a studio. Yeah, making wow. sure we got it right. If we ain't do the step right, you know, got to do it again. Mm -hmm. She fed us in the whole nine. So plenty of cool lay down there. Yeah, for and I, I miss that Aww. lady a lot. You know, see, because they were good guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got. Where'd you get the name of the Dynamic Three? Uh, I don't even know. That one, I don't even just, know. I, we just. And, and, and we only have the dynamic two. That. I know. We just we only have the in. dynamic two. Where's, where's the oh, third? The and third we, one is, is hey, it? he's always, if he ain't here, he's still with us in spirit. That's mm -hmm. our brother. Yeah. We always keep in contact All with the time. him. And he probably, if we sat there and we holler at him right now, he'll pop up. Yeah? Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Can we do that? Sure. Uh, sure. Come Let's on, do it. Right yeah. Hold on, sir. That's FaceTime. Yeah. Say what's up to the people. Hey, what's up, people? Hey. hey. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hey. Now Welcome. We, now we got the Dynamic Three in the <laughs> house. We got the Dynamic All right. Three. All right, everybody's here. Excellent. You know, he's always, he's always busy, but he's the main cat that put the group together. That's great. You know? Yeah. Greg, you came up with the name Dynamic Three, am I right? I think we all did, because remember when we were the Devilish Three? Yeah. yeah they're giving us a lot of dirt back here do you have anything we got a lot of backstories here a lot of you know hidden secrets and stuff you have anything that you want to share that you want your fans to know uh, <laughs> <laughs> from being in the group uh, let me think um no i'm not gonna share the airport <laughs> <laughs> oh i think i know what you're talking about yeah we can't share that one <laughs> <laughs> but that was fun though <laughs> we were we had just landed we had just finished the show uh -huh. on our way to Dulles Airport. 
and was it Dulles? And I got pulled over. I got, I got pulled over. We were tired. And I got pulled over by a state trooper. And everybody in the car was asleep. But I never drank anything. But because I was tired, he thought that I might be, uh, Intoxicated? you know, driving while, you know, either impaired or, or drunk. So he pulled me out of the car. He made me walk the line. And he didn't let me go. Um, and I tell that story because that could have messed my life up if I was drinking. And sometimes it could be one beer just because they detect, you know, something like that in your system. They lock you up. And and that could have been when my life went the other way. So That's that was right. a story that I'll never forget. And, um, you know, driving in D.C., going to Dulles Airport. Mm. We would sleep. That's a great story. You guys want to call sleep, sleep. Hmm. I think. <laughs> um, I didn't know nothing about that yeah, one. Charlie woke up. Charlie did wake up. Uh, but we all were tired. We were all tired coming from a show. Mm. And, uh, and But we didn't do any drinking. We we did right. none of that. It's just that I was tired yeah. also when yeah. he pulled me over. So I knew there was nothing wrong with me. So I had no problem with, you know, uh, doing whatever he asked me to do. Right. And I had no doubt in my mind that it was going to all be okay. But sometimes we think we just have one or two and be tired and we get pulled over and our lives go in a direction where it probably shouldn't have went. It will go back on course, but sometimes we can take our lives yes. places where, you know, you know, God had uh, for us to go. That's right. But he knows the beginning and the end and yes, it will get back. Yes, he does. But I just yes. thank God that, you know, I didn't indulge in any drugs or any alcohol, you know, and, and I was okay. Because you guys, it made a difference on, you guys you know, are great role models. Yeah. Yeah. Amen to that. Yeah. Thank you for sharing That's that. MBG right there. The man that put the group together. And, and, and the God, founder. God's had his hands on you since the very beginning, and he's not done with you guys yet. No, that's why the roof is on fire. That's why the roof is on fire. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. Good to be on. It's good to be around. Um, here in 2019, um, I enjoy my brothers, the Charlie and Rick, and Scott. Will always be my brothers. You know, I didn't grow up with brothers in my home. I had three sisters, but God blessed me with those two guys there. Matter of fact. Charlie, Jerry, you know, Clark J, Mark Scott, you know, brothers that came in my life and, and made a difference in my life. When I go through, and Charlie and Rick can tell you, when there's something going on, I'm on the phone with my brother, you know, because they got something to say, you know, that inspires me and and helps me along the way. So I, I thank God for my brothers, my two brothers sitting there, and Scott and Blood Rod and Clark J, people that made a difference in my life. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to holler at you later on. Yes. All right. All right. Pleasure. Pleasure. God bless you. Thank God you so much you. for being on the show. A legend. That's a legend right there. He said what he said. That's right. Wow. All right. My arm was getting tired. But, <laughs> 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 but uh, there is a, a, a one story uh, MBG didn't tell. Okay. You know. Uh, and that was uh, that. Hey, it, it was one part in his life where he had to, because um, you know he's a he was once was a state trooper. Oh, mm. yeah. oh, okay. So yeah, it was and a lot of times he didn't do shows with us, but because, we had a lot of yeah, we feelings, you know, yeah. we had a yeah. lot of feelings, yeah. guys for hire. So we had about like nine MBGs. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like the Temptations. Right? Yeah, yeah. The temptations. exactly. We we mm -hmm. lived the Temptations wow. life on the road. Exactly. Yeah. But you're still tight. You're still your brothers. Oh yeah, because even yeah. though he did what he had to do, we yeah. supported him every step of the foot, every yeah. step of the way, and he yeah. was, you know, like we said, we brothers. We, hey, we put that together, mm -hmm. and just because he did what he had to do, you come. Hey, that spot is always yours mm -hmm. whenever you're ready. And hey, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Some some of the feelings didn't like the fact he came back in town to collect the money <laughs> <laughs> and then he left and then he left he said, but but hey. I, they'd be like oh, well. well i did the show <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, maybe toss him a few bucks <laughs> yeah that's what hey, he was behind it is that's what it, it is yeah that's it <laughs> yeah you know but, uh, that's his name yeah but well, well you guys are going to perform 
request line? Absolutely. Yes. And the roof. The new one. And say that again. And the roof. The new one. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Once upon a time, some gorgeous girls went to the police academy. Three of them displayed unmistakable talent, ability, and intelligence. They became policewomen. Three others displayed nothing but their legs. They ended up working for me. That's why I call them Charlie's Ankles. Charlie just sent this tape over. Do you think we should play it now? I don't know. Maybe we should wait for Sabrina. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's important. When is Sabrina coming back? I don't know. Where's the tape machine? I don't know. Is that it? I don't know. Let's try it. Okay. Hello, Ankles. This is Charlie. Ooh, Charlie. I'll be out of town for a few days. Everything should run smoothly, and I'll see you when I return. Oh, one minor detail. I found out someone is going to kill you. So, goodbye, and good luck. What did he mean by that? I don't know. That must be Sabrina. I'll get it. Who's there? I don't know. <laughs> but they left us this present. Oh. I wonder what it is. <sighs> is it your birthday? I don't know. <laughs> How old am I? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do you think that this could be a bomb? Who would say it's a bomb? I don't know. Let's read the part. Dear occupant, enclosed, please find one bomb. It is set to go off at 12 noon. See you around. <gasps> 12 noon? What time is it now? I got three minutes to 12. Wow, this clock is slow. <laughs> wow, three minutes to an explosion. We better hurry. Yeah, that's right. Let's rush and get into our outfits. Okay. <laughs> So, I have so many outfits for so many different occasions. What do you wear for an explosion? I know. Why don't you wear your jumpsuit? Yes. I know. I'll wear my floral print dress. You wore that on your last assignment. If you wear that again, it'll be all over town. <laughs> if the bomb goes off, so will I. <laughs> oh no, two minutes to 12. We only have enough time to take our valuables. Yes, okay, I'll get the hair dryer, you get the mirror. Right. Wait, I've got a better idea. Why don't we stay here and Get rid of the bomb. Now that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard you say. Thank you. How do we get rid of a bomb? <laughs> you have forgot that I have went to high school. <laughs> we take the bomb and we soak it in a bathtub of water. I wonder what Sabrina would do. I don't know. <laughs> I got an idea. Let's take the bomb and put it outside the door. Someone's bound to steal it. Good thinking. <laughs> How much time do we have left? Eight seconds. Hi, 
Sabrina. Oh, that Charlie, when I see him, I'll kill him. He promised to make me a star. I'll kill him a million times. Hi, and welcome to Remember This Trivia Game. It's 80s TV theme song. Yay. All right. Okay, exciting. It's first time hosting, so I'm excited. Um, okay, so let's meet our guests. Who do we have here? I am the original Slick Rick from Rockmaster Scott right. and the Dynamic 3. <laughs> I am Caleb T. Johnson. Right. Joanne Cristiano. Thank you. And I am the original. Oh, why well, I'm saying original? I am <laughs> King <laughs> Charlie <laughs> Prince. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for being contestants on this show. Uh, the object of the game is I'm going to play a TV show theme song from the 80s. Okay. okay. I'm going to play it probably for about 15 seconds. If you think you know the name of the TV show, buzz in. <laughs> I will call on you. Wait till I call on you. Okay. okay. In case two people buzz in at the same time. Okay? <laughs> okay. And then give us your answer. Okay? Ready. All right. And everybody Ready. that Ready. gets Ready. it correct, you get a point for every correct answer at the end of the game. Whoever gets the most points wins. Mm. All right. Absolutely nothing. But, okay. <laughs> but they win the game. They win breaking. Okay. okay. Are you ready, everybody? Yes. Ready. Get your hands ready. on your buzzers, and you're going to tell me what's the name of this TV show from the 80s. Oh. I think it's Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy? No, it's not. I'm going to keep playing. Oh. That's okay. I'm going to keep playing. <laughs> Few more seconds. Anybody? Yeah. MacGyver. No. I got it. You got it? Family ties. No. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, I guess you guys didn't watch this show. It was uh, Alan Thick was the father, he was a psychiatrist. Oh, that was Growing show. Pains. Growing Pains, yeah. Growing Pains, yes, with Kurt Cameron. <laughs> yes. Growing Pains, yeah. It's okay, it's been a while since you watched the show. It's okay. All right, okay. 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 All right. Let's get ready for the next song. Hands on the buzzers. And tell me what this song, this TV show is. Wouldn't you like to get away? Taxi. That's the correct. I mean, no, cheers, cheers, cheers. Yes, cheers, cheers it is. Hey. All right. <laughs> yes, one point for Slick Rick. All right. A little I rusty, remember that song. Yeah. Good. <laughs> 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 well, I would have heard that other part yeah. singing. Uh, uh, yeah. I would have heard see. that. I would have known. And always glad, always glad you came. Now yeah. you got it? Yeah. Everybody knows your name. Very good, Slick Rick. All right. <laughs> okay. Next song. Get your hands on the buzzers. What TV show is this? Wonder Years. Yes, all right. Slick Rick got it again. <laughs> Somebody watched a lot of TV. <laughs> and who knows who played in Wonder Years? Anybody? Uh, Fred, uh, what's his Fred he got Savage. It. He got it. Yes, wow, Fred really? Savage played <laughs> Kevin Arnold. Yes, great yes. show. <laughs> wow. Okay. Played in the 80s, but it took place in the late 60s and yeah. the early 70s. Thought you was playing football outside. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we talking about so when that's you was what you thought. Me. He was in the house too when you were in the house. <laughs> you okay. Punch me. You watch TV. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, get your hands on your buzzers and what TV show is this? <laughs> Caleb. Moonlighting. No. I'm gonna keep playing. No, I just don't know the name. Dang. 
You got it? You think you got it? I, I think I do. I know it's Tony Dancer. Uh, darn it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Ready. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you only buzz in once. <laughs> All right, everybody else? We still got one more second on the song. Buzz in already. Oh, my bad. Anybody? Yes, I got it. Okay, tell me what you think it is. Who's the boss? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for following me. <laughs> and you said that probably because he said Tony Danza. Is exactly. that why you said that? He's like, I know the name. He's trying to cheat a little the bit. The correct answer is. I know it's a show that I like to watch. The correct answer is it had um, Michael J. Fox in it. Oh, mm, family ties. Family ties. ties. Yes. That was going to be the yeah. next one. I said family ties, didn't I? That <laughs> Earlier. Man, she don't show no. so long. <laughs> I forgot what the. Okay. Okay, we ready? Get your hands See, on. See, I didn't watch TV. I was too young then. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> ready? Quick, uh, quick. Uh, uh, marriage. Married with children. Yes, yeah. married with children. <laughs> wow, oh, you're sweeping the floor yeah. with you guys. Get out. All right. <laughs> wow. Very good. What, do you remember the uh, the father's name? Al Bundy. Al Bundy. Yeah, I just got through watching him on the <laughs> other show. That he had, uh, uh, modern, uh, yes, Modern, modern family. family. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. I ain't get one. So, <laughs> how many points does Slick Rick have? Too many. Three. I'm on a roll. How many points does anybody else? How have? many? I wasn't gonna so go there, but okay, <laughs> he's going there. Nine. <laughs> All right, come on, you guys. Oh, you know okay. these songs. I know, but okay, ready? You tie his hands behind his back. Okay. <laughs> Get your hands on your buzzers and tell me what show is this. I got it. I got it. I got it. I hey, that was so simple. Come on. Cosby show. Cosby show. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't fast at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 and I was watching it yesterday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Caleb gets the point. Hmm. Gotta be quick. Well, at least we got uh, someone else on the board. Okay. Keep my hand right here. Ready? Hands on the buzzers. <laughs> Caleb. Taxi. Yes. Mm -hmm. Taxi. Mm -hmm. All right. I said it earlier. <laughs> Wait, I have a very difficult question. What was that show about? Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Taxi. <laughs> Close enough. Taxi drivers. <laughs> their lives <laughs> and Tony Danza was in Tony that one Tony Danza yes. was in that one yeah, yes. mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, can I at least get one y'all could have gave on, me this Bill this one's Cosby. gonna be yours ready <laughs> okay get your hands on your buzzers guys <laughs> different strokes yes <laughs> all right <laughs> no favoritism. It's just good to get him on the board. Okay, all right. Yeah, that was it. That's Ooh. it. Dude. That's all you get now. <laughs> you got one. You, get. you happy? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I did ask for one. All right, you got it. Okay. All right, get ready. Oh my God! Nobody. No. I know it. I just nobody watched the name. show. It was about a radio station. It was about. Oh, it's KB. Oh my goodness! I don't remember you the want name. Guess? I got yeah. it. It's KD Cincinnati. Yes, yeah, he got, got it. He got it. <laughs> WKC Cincinnati or whatever right. it was. Cincinnati. I, I don't really <laughs> watch that show. I did. I just couldn't remember the name. Love the Venus Flytrap. Well, at least I got one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't like that show. Uh, Jane, you got to get on the board. You know, okay. I know the songs, I just I don't know, remember the title. Mm -hmm. All right. We got uh, our 10th song. Ready? <laughs> Charlie? Mm. Oh my God. I got it. No, don't yell. I, I, I can't get the name. <laughs> I told you, leave it alone. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> Caleb, go ahead. Knight Rider. Yeah. Knight Rider. <laughs> and what was Knight Rider about? Knight Rider. <laughs> <laughs> Good car. answer. Good answer. It was about a talking okay. car, right? What's yeah. so far? Uh, 
Zero. You gotta read but, it to me. But we'll make it nice zero. <laughs> Slick Rick has four. Slick Rick has, has three. four. Kingo and has three. Oh, Prince has one. All right, wait. We got one more. Now we got to get you on the board. We got one more. I know, but I haven't watched TV. <laughs> I only watch Italian TV. Oh, you only watch that? <laughs> okay, let's okay. go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. You guys got to be fast. Everybody knows this. So you guys have to be fast. Are we ready? <laughs> yes. All right. We hit at the good. same time. <laughs> Town Co Bel Air. Uh, Come on, I'm now sorry, you guys can hey. sing it. Who wants to sing it? Anybody? Uh, since I hit the award, uh, you can go ahead and sing. I don't want to sing. West Philadelphia, <laughs> born and raised. Yeah. Back, Back in the days. days. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. A couple of guys, they was up for no good. Started making trouble in the neighborhood. There you go, Charlie. He said, you're moving to your aunt. Ben Blair. 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 Ben that's why he did a little, he did the little hop. Yeah. He's at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Round of applause for our big winners. Like Craig. Like Craig. Hey. Hey. I could have got money on that one. So. All right. Now you have bragging rights. <laughs> no prize. No prize. No prize. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to go? We'll send you anywhere in the world. We have a green screen. Where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. <clears throat> They, they'll take you to the green screen. We'll we will you. take you, you there. Oh, we have oh, taken past well. guest, <laughs> London. Guest, guest winners. <laughs> Yo, just Amsterdam. 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 Yeah. I gotta Google a picture. Take of me to Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Oh, he, yeah. Well. Yay. We're Amsterdam. Now, wow, Rick. We're in Amsterdam. Bourbon Street, right? We're in Amsterdam. Okay. <laughs> well, you don't have to go there to smoke weed anymore. You can smoke at practice anywhere now. <laughs> 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 Thank you for watching our show. Thank you, Slick Rick. Thank you. Thank you, Much Kayla. Of Thank, you Thank you, Joanne. As much as I've been in the house, I thought I would have known these things. Yeah, right. Rick been in the outside plans. Football, baseball, and going hockey, everything. And he know all the he TV shows. Thanks for having us. Wow. You know the Rolling Stones when they were just pebbles. Children want to grow up to be just like him. When he speaks, everyone, including E.F. Hutton, listens. His words are written in stone. What happens with him stays with him. He is the most interesting man in the world. I usually never drink beer. But when I do, I drink Kisses beer. Stay thirsty, my friends. Mr. Green. Yeah. You need any help? Mm -mm. I I just want you to know. I think I think you're the best ever. Yeah, sure. Want my water? It's okay. You can have it. No, no. Really, you can have it. Okay. Thanks. 
Hey kid, catch. Wow! Thanks, Mean Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, King Charlie Prince and Slick Rick performing Request Line and the new Roof is on Fire. Hi, this is Denise from Remember This. I'd like to speak with one of the Dynamic Three. Here's Charlie Prince. Hey, Charlie Prince, on your request line, I would like to know your name and your zodiac sign. Say what? You a Scorpio just like me, and I'd like to let you know that I'm nasty. If you give me the chance, would you fly, girl? I bet you any amount of money I can rock your world. Because when I'm in the mood to get things done, the hotel is the place we can have big fun. And if it doesn't sound right and you don't agree, let's go to my house, because I got the key. I don't have a water bed, and the reason's why, because it's not necessary. Don't need to lie, so if you want to be my girl, you must come correct, and you might be the girl that I would select. Because I'm the heavens above, but known to be the prince love. When it come to me and me, you do have to show. Hi, this is Christy calling from the Big Apple. And I'd like to speak to one of the Dynamic Three. Okay, here's Slick Rick. Hey, Slick Rick on your request line and a rock to the beat at the drop of the dime. So listen very closely while I take you this line. I frame with the ladies and make them mine. I look them in the eyes, have them hypnotized. Put them in their drink, of the fantasize. What could it be? Could it really be true? Think God shouldn't love it. I once knew. Oh yeah, baby doll, it's your lover man. You know the one that's always putting beef in your pants. I serve champagne. Have you all packed in my house feeling like the star? You know I am the one who take a let's make love. Take your arm up to the skies above. Put you in my arms, squeeze you real tight when the job is over. I serve you fried. The roof is on fire, we play the ground level. The club is like hell, the DJ the devil. Everybody standing here sweating. Girls undressing with no question. I'm not stressing, no broad, that ain't my style. Sister, she acting too proud. Baby girl, the music's too loud. For me to be in here trying to make you smile. I came here to dance, call her Amalan. Your body hypnotized and you got me in the trance. That's my jam. Uh, turn it up or not. Y'all know the party don't stop. Show me what you got. If you let me see your thong, ooh, girl, you really turn me on. I know you got the bomb. And it's Don Perignon, got me feeling like wilder for the night. The roof is on fire. Overdrive and this Doja really got my soul behind. Uh, 
Hands up, touch the sky. Move your hips to the beat while I touch them thighs. It must be gully, cause jams don't shake like that. Shake it like that. I know you like it like that. Girl, let's take it to the back. Cause I don't see nothing wrong. If we got a little freaky, back that thing up and freak me. The roof is on fire. It's a party, move that body. Mm. Now, girls, don't hurt nobody. Yeah. Legs growing up, sit more, grow up. Shake fast, slow up. Calm down, hold up. She's feeling me, she's feeling me. He's grilling me like he's thinking about killing me. Man, it's getting hot in here. Uh -huh. Somebody might get shot in here. What? I don't know about y'all out there. Yeah. But the party don't stop in here. It's on fire. Yeah. Just in time. We're on in 10 seconds, honey. Don't you honey me, buster. Well, what's wrong? Nothing. Well, Linda. Stand by. What? Good evening, and welcome to Up to the Minute News with America's favorite anchor couple, the Mr. and Mrs. of TV newscasting, Steve and Linda Bradshaw. <laughs> From the mountains to the prairies to the ocean whitewood foam, a gracious good evening. That big communication of a breakdown at the phone company is tonight's top story. A spokesperson from the company has stated, as soon as I find out what is causing our problem, I can better determine how to solve it. Linda? Thank you, Steve. I have no intention of discussing the matter at this time, stated Senate investigator Ralph J. Spoolman. <laughs> I will do whatever is necessary to see that the filthy liar gets what he deserves. <laughs> Steve? Storm warnings and an icy front are up. <laughs> and those sailing into choppy waters are advised to use extreme caution. Linda? Stick it in your ear. <laughs> Is this year's theme at the Hearing Aid Manufacturers Convention? <laughs> the convention is sponsoring free hearing tests to make the public more aware of all the things that have been going on behind their backs for much too long. Back to you, Steve. In court today, immoral conduct charges against Councilman Peterson were dropped due to insufficient evidence to support the accusations made. Back to you, Linda. Thank you, Steve. National Secretary Week has started, and all over the nation, secretaries are being kept, hopping from luncheons to dinners, and satisfied bosses shower them with gifts as a way of saying thanks for all those little extras they perform all year long. <laughs> Any comment on that, Steve? <laughs> I always say there's nothing like a good secretary to keep a man's affairs in order. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's his lovely wife. 
divorce rates are up 18 percent this year. This 5 percent increase over the last year has been attributed to unfaithful middle-aged husbands who are insecure about their masculinity. Steve? I'm just as good as I ever was. <clears throat> I'm just as good as I ever was, proclaimed 60-year-old Rocky Gravelano, ex-Olympic weightlifting champ. To celebrate his birthday, Gravelano pressed 650 pounds, proving that a man is as virile as he is allowed to be. <laughs> there you have it, Linda. There was a lot of hot air around today <laughs> when the annual upstate balloon races were held. The festivities got off to a hopeful start, but fails miserably when poor air circulation forced many to land due to loss of momentum. The ball's in your court now, Steve. Psychologists at Northwestern University have determined that aggressive women who insist on competing for men's jobs <laughs> tend to suffer from an acute lack of femininity, Grace, wit, and general loss of sex appeal. <laughs> it's all yours, Linda. <laughs> a scandal that can ruin a career rocked Hollywood today as actress Buffy Starr announced that she was suing her longtime husband for divorce. Her hired detective uncovered a hot bed of information that can lay waste to an otherwise impeccable reputation. She was quoted as saying, I will stop at nothing to make sure he never works in this town again. It's up to you, Steve. Guilty on all charges. Was the plea by Jack Taylor, city planner, indicted for conflict of interest today at City Hall. The truly remorseful Taylor threw himself at the mercy of the courtroom, screaming, I swear I'll never do that again, Linda. Come home, darling. All is forgiven. Reads the prominent message on a billboard in the downtown area. We track down the man who ran the ad, and he offers a new main code and a diamond ring to his estranged wife as proof of his sincerity. <laughs> That really is hard to resist, huh, Steve? All your demands will be met, said management as the dock worker strike was settled today. Well, Linda, that's all I've got. That concludes this evening's news. Please stay tuned later this evening when I'll be hosting for Housewives Only. Tonight's topic will be infidelity making his guilt your game. <laughs> This is Steve and Linda Bradshaw wishing you a triumphant good evening. <laughs>